Hey, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to me, I do suffer from CCCA alopecia. In today's video, we are going to be doing a length check. The last time I did one was on March 9th, so I followed up and the results are in the video. I didn't see much movement when it came to my hair growth, but my hair does look and feel a lot thicker. It is a lot shinier to me. So using the rosemary water definitely is a plus in my eyes my irritation subsided i don't really have a sore scalp so that's a good thing the only thing that is worrying me right now is my hair is falling out a lot i think since april started i've accumulated probably close to the amount of hair i actually lost in january and it was a lot of hair so i'm not sure what's going on i don't know if it's the weather i don't know if it's just me i have no idea what's going on it could just very well be the condition i have no idea I will insert a picture here just so that you can see the amount of hair that I lost prior to me doing my length check. I did have twist in my hair. So I'm giving up on the twist because I've tested it out three times and each time I've lost hair. But this last time I've lost a significant amount of hair while I was taking out my hair. And I don't think twists are a thing for me. My hair gets too tangled. I do have to comb from the roots all the way down. Some people may question why am I always combing my hair. My hair gets tangled at the roots. I'm not sure about everyone else's hair. Maybe everyone, everyone's hair does that. But for me, if I don't comb the roots out, I'm going to lose 10 times more hair the next time I touch my head. So I'm not trying to play that game. This is not whack-a-mole. I'm not doing that, okay? The twist thing, the tiny twist thing just is not going to work for me right now. I do know my hair is getting a lot more tangled with it. So I'm not too fond of it. The other thing is I am struggling with trying to keep my hair in a certain state before I wash it to minimize the tangles, to minimize the breakage. At this point, I might just cut my hair. That's how I feel <laughs> because it's going to be a lot, especially when other things are happening at the same time. And if I don't wash my hair like every three to four days or at least once a week, my scalp gets irritated. So I can't even say, okay, I'm going to hold off on um, washing my hair and deal with whatever. I have to actually keep up with my wash days or else I pay for it in the end. So I'm just trying to find a middle ground with my hair and how to take care of it. It's been about two and a half years dealing with this condition since I've been diagnosed. And it's been two and a half long years. And it's getting longer because I don't understand. And I know when your hair gets longer or your hair gets thicker, you have another, you have a, you have new sets of issues. And I just, I just want to be even keel. Like, just be nice. Just be okay. You know, so this is what I have going on right now. As for April, I really didn't start anything new for my hair growth challenge. So I think April is just going to be me just trying to keep my scalp clean, which is what I've been doing. And we'll start again. We'll use something new in me because trying to find something that my scalp likes is hard. It's really hard. So I'm taking baby steps. I know I went all in last year, but my hair is acting very differently than it did last year. It's a lot thicker than it was last year. So I'm not sure how to maneuver it. I'm not sure how to manage. I'm not sure what I'm doing. So I'm just going to take it in strides. My next video is, is going to be a wash day. And I, I think I'm going to do a clay wash. I usually find that after I do like a nice detox in clay wash with my hair, with the clay mask, my hair feels great it looks great it bounces back so i think i'm gonna do that i am gonna look into doing a protein treatment because i have not done one since i've been diagnosed so maybe my hair is missing that so we'll see 
I have a list of things that I want to do with my hair in terms of health wise. So I'm just going to take it one day at a time and each video will be a surprise for you and, and a surprise for me because at any given moment, my scalp gets irritated and I just I cannot have that because the irritation lasts for at least two weeks. So I'm just trying my best to control it as much as I can, even though I feel like I have no control over what this condition is doing to my hair. I'll try different things just to make sure that I'm trying everything that I can to work with what I have going on, but we'll see. That is it. I just wanted to update you about what's going on with my hair and my scalp. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you back here for another one. Bye.